Oh, hello. This is Ta Chong from Walk with Ta. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, recently, I received a message from uh, one of the viewers. Uh, he told me that uh, he loves cheese and he also loves fried rice. And he asked me whether it is possible for me to show him how to create a cheese fried rice. Uh, he told me that he is an absolute uh, beginner's cook and he said he had no, never cooked rice before. So the first thing he asked me is that whether I can show him how to cook rice as well. Uh, so I decided in this video, I'm going to combine these two together. I'm going to show how you cook rice and then followed by how you use the rice that you cook uh, to make a cheese fried rice. Uh, however, cooking this cheese fried rice is also new to me uh, because I have never think of actually cooking a fried rice with cheese. Uh, in fact, when I first received the request from this viewer, uh, I kind of imagined that it would not turn out too good at all. But I said, I'm going to give it a try. But after I make it, I really like this fried rice. Very surprising to me. Okay, so let's get into the kitchen and see what we could do. Uh, should you have a rice cooker? And my answer to this question is absolutely yes. I have a simple rice cooker which has only one button. Uh, for $20, this rice cooker is truly a great investment. It removes a lot of guesswork. And really, it is nothing more than a heating uh, plate at the bottom of the rice cooker with a temperature sensor. Uh, when the rice is done, the temperature sensor will turn off the heating element. Uh, there are many different types of rice, uh, uh, such as uh, short grain, medium grain, and long grain. Uh, most people prefer long grain rice. Uh, they contain less starch, so when they cook, uh, they tend to be more fluffy. Uh, however, there are different types of long grain rice. Uh, the, one of the most common type of long grain rice is known as jasmine rice. However, I'm using just a standard long grain rice, which I got from uh, Sam's Club. Uh, you can go wrong with this rice because uh, for a 25 pound bag of rice, it costs less than $10. Uh, this rice cooker that I have can accommodate uh, 4 cups of uncooked rice to make the 12 cups of cooked rice. And for this demonstration, I'm going to cook uh, 3 cups of uh, uncooked rice. Uh, should you wash your rice before you cook them? And the reason that you wash your rice is because uh, uh, during the storage, the rice will release starch. And uh, the goal is that to remove this starch uh, you can tell when there's a lot of starch uh, when the water starts to turn milky white. Uh, if you don't mind the starch present in the rice, then you really don't need to wash it because uh, uh, most of the rice we have today are already power washed before they put into their bags. Uh, the amount of water that you're going to put into the rice depends uh, a lot of how you want the rice going to be. Uh, for my purpose, I'm going to put in uh, one part of water to one part of rice. Uh, you can make adjustments uh, based on the type of rice that you use. Uh, this rice cooker is extremely simple. It has only one button. Uh, you just plug it in and you put the inner bowl inside the rice cooker and you put on the lid and then you just turn the button on. Uh, since this uh, rice cooker has a clear glass lid, as you can see exactly what is going on. Uh, this rice cooker is very fast. Uh, with 3 cups of rice, uh, usually it takes about uh, 20 to 25 minutes to cook. Uh, the basic mechanism of how the rice cooker works is very simple. Uh, as the rice is uh, cooked, the water starts to boil, so the temperature of the pot will always remain at the uh, temperature of uh, boiling water. Uh, as the water evaporates during the cooking process, as well as being absorbed by the rice kernel, uh, the temperature of the pot will start to change, and it will trigger the temperature sensor to shut off the rice cooker. It signals that the rice is done. Uh, I want to show you something that is really handy. Uh, it's this type of uh, a rice scoop. It has this texture on it. It prevents rice from uh, sticking to the scoop. So this is the result uh, of my uh, rice, which I use one part of rice to one part of water. As you can see, that it is very moist. If you use too much water, then you can see that the rice could be very sticky. I would never use rice uh, directly come out from the rice cooker to make fried rice because it would be too sticky and it would make a really big mess. 
My general rule of thumb is that、uh, use the rice that has been in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours、uh, before using them to make fried rice.、Uh, for this fried rice dish, I'm going to use the Kobe Jack cheese as the main cheese, but I'm also going to garnish it with some Parmesan cheese.、Uh, in addition to the cheese,、uh, I will add some、uh, frozen corn as well. When I cook fried rice, I want to make sure that the wok is well seasoned. Uh, I use my spot seasoning method.、Uh, I always give、uh, extra ten or fifteen seconds to season the wok.、Uh, if you are not familiar with this uh, method, uh, you can take a look at this video.、Uh, the starch from the rice, as well as the moisture, tend to remove seasoning from the wok.、Uh, this rice has been in the refrigerator for about、uh, three days before I'm using them for cooking this fried rice. I'm using what is known as a hamburger meat chopper to break up the rice.、Uh, before I discover these handy tools, I used to make a big mess when I tried to break up the rice with the wok spatula.、Uh, this tool is really designed for breaking up、uh, hamburger meat.、Uh, in the case when, say, you are making a chili,、uh, I then switch to a wok spatula.、Um, the next step is to fry the egg. I'm going to fry the egg directly、uh, in the wok. I push the rice to the outer edge of the wok and create a space in the center of the wok.、Uh, this will allow me to use that space like a little frying pan、uh, to fry the eggs.、Uh, I first by、uh, adding some、uh, cooking oil.、Uh, this Cusina 14-inch stainless steel wok has a relatively large bottom surface, so it makes it perfect.、Uh, To use for this purpose, eggs are an、uh, important part of a fried rice.、Uh, I'm going to crack three eggs、uh, into the wok. Now there are many different ways that you can cook the eggs, and this is the way that、uh, I choose to because it is very convenient and efficient.、Uh, how long one cooks the egg depends very much on、uh, how well you want the texture to blend into the rice. If you want the texture to be more distinct, then you cook the egg a little bit longer. I'm going to season the egg with my basic seasoning mix.、Uh, if you would like to know more about the individual components of this seasoning mix,、uh, you can take a look at、uh, this video. I break up the egg yolk and spread the egg more across the surface of the wok. A next step is to、uh, mix the egg in with the rice.、Uh, so far, you can see that the wok is doing really well, and、uh, nothing sticks to the bottom of the wok at all.、Uh, at this point, I will check the heat setting of my stove.、Uh, I want to make sure that、uh, there's not too much heat and cause the、uh, ingredients to burn.、Uh, if that is the case, I will lower the heat setting. I always like to have corn、uh, in a fried rice dish. Uh, because the corn provides、uh, a sweetness、uh, as well as a texture、uh, to the fried rice,、uh, I'm going to use the corn directly out from the freezer.、Uh, I will basically boil the corn and cook them、uh, right in the wok. I used to boil the corn in advance, but I discovered that it really、uh, does not matter, and、uh, this way it is far more efficient. I look at cooking as、uh, everything else in my life.、Uh, if I could save some time, why not? The final step of this dish is to add the Kobe Jack cheese.、Uh, I'm going to add about one cup of、uh, this cheese. This is an important step for me. I'm going to carefully watch the texture of the cheese and how it mixes in with the rice.、Uh, I would like the cheese to be、uh, barely melted. I do not want the cheese to glue all the rice、uh, together.、Uh, at least this is my plan for this particular cheese and for this、uh, instance of fried rice. And in the future, I might change my mind.、Uh, with a few quick stir,、uh, the fried rice is ready.、Uh, I then transfer the content into the serving plate and I garnish it with、uh, some Parmesan cheese. Uh, this is followed by some、uh, scallion. However, this step is completely optional,、uh, particularly if you do not like scallion.、Uh, this dish is very fast to cook, and the total cook time is a little bit over three minutes.、Uh, so, in summary, you definitely should get a rice cooker.、Uh, if you're going to get one, I would get、uh, one that has a four cup capacity. 
Uh, also, I would want to point it out the most important aspect of cooking rice is the ratio uh, between rice and water. So it's depending on the type of rice that you use, uh, I think you should try to experiment with different uh, type of uh, water to rice ratio and to find the best ratio will create the texture of the rice that you like. Uh, one of the main goals of my YouTube channel uh, is to encourage you uh, to adopt my fast cooking system. And the word fast is the acronym for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Uh, so, by using this uh, basic fried rice template, uh, in addition to the cheese fried rice that we demonstrate in this video, you can create many, many other versions of fried rice. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.